What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Red River Aviation. Hope you guys are on a fantastic day today. And today we have the redone 1-400 scale, how to make a custom gate apron. So I hope you guys are excited for today's video. If you guys are, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and turn on the notification bell because we have a lot of new aprons to go over and uh, the redo with the new templates. Hope you guys are excited. So uh, we're gonna be able to make after uh, this video a regional dip 1-400 scale um, foil. A narrow body or mainline wood 400 scale um, uh, gate apron and a heavy. So, hope you guys are excited. Like the video, like I said, please, if you do enjoy. And uh, yeah, there's a lot to uh, go over in this, so we are gonna get started. So, what you'll need uh, for sure, you're gonna need uh, paper or uh, surface that you're putting it on. You could be a board, I'm gonna be painting mine um, with these paint pins onto my uh, what is it called? My uh, paint boards. So, I'll show you more of that in some upcoming videos. You're gonna need a ruler. Uh, I have two of them here just uh, for a reference point. You're going to need a pencil for sure. Uh, depending on how your uh, your final product, like if you're not using paint pens, you're for sure gonna need a, this is a uh, ultra thin Sharpie uh, yellow, but you can use color pencils, markers, whatever. But I highly recommend for sure, if you can't get it, it's okay, but I do highly recommend you use paint pens. These are two uh, colors. Uh, these are branded uh, by painters. I really like them. Uh, they are obviously, uh, or I'm sorry. Uh, the reason I like these is they're ultra thin. Uh, the yellow is not bad about bleeding, but the black really is. So when you're using a ruler, so it's kind of tough. If you're painting it onto a board, you'll be able to paint back over it. But I mean, it's, it's tough. Uh, but you can freehand it too. So anyways, enough with, uh, and then you're gonna need three aircraft. Um, I would recommend uh, the triple seven three, well, any heavy works, but for what I have, it's triple three because that's the biggest plane I have. 757 and the E-175 for sure. You're gonna need those too. So let's start with 757. So the first thing you're gonna do is line it up where you want it. And I gotta fix the camera while I'm at it. Okay, line it up uh, here. Once it's lined up, now what you're gonna do is, uh, I do recommend making a, well, you make your mark after you get your initial uh, foundation. So the first thing you're gonna do is go here and then uh, get, put the ruler under the engine parallel to it and then go to the uh, inch and a half line. And then after that, you're just going to get in front of the engine here on the 757 and go straight up for an inch and a half with your pencil. Once you do that, you can turn it at a 90 degree angle and go straight across for an inch and a half. And it's okay if your plane slides, that's fine. Doesn't really matter. And then finally for the box, you're going to uh, go down for an inch and a half. So yeah, there you go. Okay, so your box is already done. It looks pretty neat. Now what you're gonna do is, this is what's changed from last time. Last time I just said eyeball it. No, let's not do that. So, uh, on your ruler, the marking followed, following the half inch mark, around that uh, distance, you are going to lightly just make a little dots for a reference point, and then you're gonna go sideways for approximately another inch and a half and you are gonna mark at an inch and a half with the big dot so you can see it. Where you're, uh, where you're gonna draw your line to. This is uh, so, uh, same thing for the other side. This is so that the they come out equal on both sides and it looks good, same thing, just draw a little dot and then inch and a half dot. And then all you have to do after this is line up your ruler with those two, uh, it's pretty much just connect the dots, guys. There, and let me see. There, so there you go with those. Uh, they look pretty good, at least a lot closer. If you wanna get uh, more detailed, you can, but it's pretty much strike triangle, credit to Aviation 18 for figuring that out. And then finally, all you're gonna do is uh, you're going to go to the inch and a half one final time on both sides, and you're gonna draw a straight line to make it a gate. 
So there we go, right there. Try to draw as straight as possible for all these lines as well. Uh, I know you can always redraw them, but I do recommend trying to get them as straight as you can the first time. Okay, so that uh, the whole gate looks good. Um, it's actually pretty much even, which I love, and I'm pretty happy with it. So followed by that, you're gonna take a fine point or whatever you're using color pencil may work better since it won't bleed and you can erase it worst case, but this is what we have for the example. So um, I'll put your ruler here and then if you wanna use a second ruler, I guess you can, but just, uh, I guess you could kind of eyeball where the uh, line is gonna go to, like uh, here. Just kind of eyeball where they're gonna meet up and then followed by that, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go straight across like so to that dot and then you're gonna do it straight up. Don't worry if it bleeds really bad, it will uh, not affect your, uh, the paint pen will come over it for the majority of you who's used in paint pens. I do recommend it very much. Now you're just gonna go at about an angle, uh, just how I'm doing here and just scroll straight across. Do three, uh, the four on this type of gate. And then you can sketch the last one or you can put the ruler on the other side. And that works. And then finally, I forgot to do this, but you can do it after you make a box or you can do it now. Put the plane in the center or wherever you think is about close. It's gonna be about a little before 0.75 inches on the ruler. And then you're just gonna draw a dot where it looks good to you. Uh, that's, I'm still not very happy with that, so let me put it there in the middle. Okay, so I drawed it. It is that one and now you're gonna go I know I wasn't very specific on this last time but you're gonna go three and a half inches straight down yeah it looks like it did not want this one is dying now and now what you're gonna do not lines not perfectly straight I do recommend this an example gate but try to make it straight and then you can use your ruler if you want but do about a I would do about a tenth of an inch or whatever, like the, oh, let me get a good roll here, but I'll do about that much, which is, I'll try to put the mark on the screen. It's like three, uh, a quarter of an inch. Do a quarter of an inch uh, for these little dashes for the aircraft. And you can make the markings if you want. Uh, you can also do space in between if you want. It's not really my preference, so I'm not going to for this example but just do a quarter of an inch throughout the uh, little marks here and get them. You can do spacing if you want, not a huge deal to me. Then you also use the ruler for this if you want. Um, I will for the example. Uh, you can make your box, I would make it about a quarter of an inch on each side. So what you could do is you could put it at a quarter of an inch and then draw that on both sides uh, that may be a little big actually, so, you know, it's however big you want. You can eyeball it. This one's going to be a little big. I'll show you what it's supposed to look like on the next day or next gates. Yeah, that's way too big, but that's our, I guess it's all right. At least you'll get to see the number. And then followed by that, draw a number. For the example, it's one. And that's it for that part. If you want to, you can get a red paint pen and do some dashes down the middle. You can also add some like the fuel stuff on the ground, some uh, wear and tear, anything like that. You can detail it up as much as you want, but this is just the simplistic version. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab your paint pen. We'll start with the black one. Honestly, for the purpose of uh, not getting it to look horrible, uh, like if you put it up against the ruler, you can, but it bleeds really bad when you go to lift up the ruler. So I'm just gonna freehand it. Uh, it's up to you how you wanna do it, but you can uh, draw in the marks to bring them out. The only thing I don't like about the black paint pens is that they are super easy to get messed up if you, uh, what's the word? Uh, they're super easy to get messed up, like when you're working on your airports and um, they will bleed easily. Or, uh, I mean, like, you'll get a mark if you're not careful, so. But the yellow ones are much better. Okay, so there's, and use the ultra thin, like I said. I'm sorry it's free-handed, this is just for the example. I'll make it look nice and touched up. 
And now I'm gonna use the yellow to go back over these. This one's almost dead, the other one had black on it, so. Yeah, um, keep that in mind. And just simply outline it. And then uh, this box is a little big, maybe you guys would like it that big, but. And then just go straight down the middle. You can do a ruler on the yellow if you want, it's not that bad. There she is. Now I'm sorry if it's freehand, freehanded. I know it doesn't look too great. Uh, definitely use the ruler. If you can if anybody knows a way to be able to do uh, lines straight with something, but not have it like, I'll just do it as an example, like on this. Uh, uh, let's see here, what all do I have? Let me get. Like for example, if anybody can know how to prevent this, if any of you guys have any suggestions, I'll just do it here in the back. Just real quick guys, hopefully you guys don't mind. Like if you know how to go down the line and then pull up, well that one didn't come out as bad, like just put it on the side. I don't know why it's not doing it right now. But you guys can see like, see those little marks like, uh, I don't know why it's not doing it on this paper, of course. Right there, there you go, prime time example, how it just like makes all those marks. If anybody knows how to prevent that, please comment a method, and I would be very happy to integrate it. Because I'm sure there'll be another redo of this at some point. But this is template based, so I think it looks better. So, uh, there's your 7 5, we can park it up. And beautiful. And there she is. Now it's on to the new ones. So these are similar how they're done. It's just a different aircraft. So the regional gate can hold up to a number at ERJ175. You can make it up to an E190 if you want. Just uh, go off some markings and make work. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna start similar to how you started the last time. Uh, get it at, to the best of your ability on the one inch mark. And uh, I'm just gonna move the aircraft because uh, this, these are all definitive uh, markings. You're gonna go up an inch. You're gonna go across an inch. So not an inch and a half, just for this, it's, it's just gonna be a straight up inch. You're gonna go down an inch. And that will get you your box for your regional jet. It's a little tight, but I think an inch keeps it simple, so. By the way, this, it's an M175 too, so keep in mind, it's kind of the biggest aircraft to be there. Now for the template on this, your marking's gonna be the same as it was for that gate down. So you're just gonna go to make a light uh, little mark. And then across, you're, it's gonna be, uh, what would that be? It's a couple before an inch and a quarter. It's approximately three lines after the inch mark. So three lines after the inch mark, you're gonna go across, make your dot, and that's obvious where that is. Charging are really small. Same thing here, uh, take your gate there, get the mark, oh, that actually looks off. It was a little off. And then go across a inch, uh, three lines after the inch mark, and put that. Right triangle again. Connect the dots. I haven't ever done an RJ gate, so I'm excited to see how it looks. This one honestly looks really sharp, we'll see. Nope, they're about right. And then finally, guess what? This is a little long, it looks a little much, but I think it's okay. Down inch, and guess what? Down inch, and then um, I'm sure a lot of you guys are knowing what's gonna come up.
she is. Man, so small, so small and cute. And here we have an American Eagle ERJ-175, parked up. And there it is. Honestly, it looks pretty good. Uh, it's def uh, once I figure out a new method to where I don't have to freehand it, it's gonna look better. However, I'm still super happy with how it came out. So now we are on to the big guy, the triple seven. Hopefully this video isn't running too long. Now we're already probably 15 minutes. This is a long one. <laughs> Okay, so the triple seven, or do you have a gate? Oh, my, wrong way, I'm sorry, guys. Ah, it looks so crooked, I'm sorry, guys, it probably is fairly, ooh. Yeah, that's definitely crooked. Need to get it better on the tripod. Okay, triple seven. Just two more markings here. So this one, I'm, I'm sure you guys know that we're gonna go off of um, inches here. So this one's a little different um, since it's uh, made a little different. Uh, you can use whatever model you like, you can adapt to this. So uh, it needs to be two inches on the sides, but an inch 0.75 across. So and two inch across or up. Now oh, let me get this fixed. Uh, you need to go about two inches across as well. Two inches across. And then two inches down. So two instead of one and a half. So kind of like how it migrates up a half inch per aircraft. Now for the wings, oh boy. You're gonna go down. Uh, uh, let me see, let me get a reference point. This is. A pretty ridiculous mark here that we have to make. Um, oh yeah, it was this one that I made obvious. Okay, so you need to go to the two lines before the inch and a half. A little reference point. And then over Three two tenths. I'll put up all these all these on the screen for you guys, and then um, across. Same thing here. You need to go uh, an inch in uh, two lines before the half. And then you need to go three, two tenths across. And I'm sorry these big gates look kind of goofy. I, I mean, I can't really find it better. And you can adjust and do these measurements per any aircraft, but uh, narrow body especially kind of needs to be a set template in my opinion, so. And then uh, you can go down, uh, I go down two inches just to keep it on par with everything else. Guess what? Two inches. Um, I'll do the line part, so because uh, that part's a lit, uh, the only different part. Uh, let's get our reference point. Which the reason it's so wide is so you can fit up to an A380 or whatever you want. Uh, yeah, that looks pretty. That looks pretty straight to me. Now, I think about, um, let's go with five and a half inches. Five and a half inches down, six is definitely more than reasonable if you want to do that, that's great. You uh, be my guest, you're welcome to. And then the rest is the same, ow. Okay, so I'm gonna do the rest here real quick, and, I, or yeah, just do your lines. I probably can put some more space in between heavy gates. I'm gonna do the rest of the lines and I'll show you guys the final products of all these gates.
And would you look at that, guys? I'll try to do the best three I can. There we go. There's our American Triple Seven Three Hundred, like a Triple Seven Two Hundred. We're parking those extra lines. Let's get a better view. Look at all of our gates, shall we? ERJ One Seven Five or the regional gate, narrow body gate, the heavy gate. Maybe we should have went six inches. <laughs> Uh, for these two, you can bring them out more, just for example. Um, but yeah, they may be, maybe it is. I probably was underestimating a little, so apologies there from me. But here they are. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial video. Um, if you guys need another way to see this one, I made the tutorial last year, so you're welcome to go look at it. But besides that, these are all the gate foils for all these aircraft. Like I said, the reason this one's so wide is for capacity up to A380 easy. So, um, hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification bell if you guys found value in this. You guys can definitely expect more tutorials. Comment uh, what kind of tutorials you guys want to see, and any suggestions, especially for that roller. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video as Red River Aviation is signing off. Oh,